Oh, it didn't do him any good. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on this alpha game, uh, Terror Tech. Uh, just wanted to quickly show you the base building and the vehicles and stuff, and all the kind of other kind of uh, fun things you can do with them all. You know, this is my my first battle truck. Um, it's pretty well armored. It's got rail guns on the front, uh, megaton cannons and stuff, and uh, all the other things around here, and it's got shields and Repair shields or repair thingy generators um, all around it. So it's pretty well, it's pretty good at looking after itself, you know. And this here is a just a mobile base I did. Basically, I have a proper base for actually making materials further over on the uh, west side of the map there. But I brought this to the flats here so that I could actually uh, just go around with my my truck and mine ores and stuff and then bring them back here and basically this is used to make money uh, also i made the thing i enjoy the most which is this little scrapping unit which is basically it's a little bit like a vehicle scrapper you put i put all the different tech scrappers in here obviously i've got some room for expansion and stuff um, and I put the cannons around the side, which are things that send them away and give you the, the credits. And then what I do is, because of all the things I keep killing, you get loads and loads of extra materials that you don't need. So say, for instance, um, let's have a look. Like these wheels, for instance. I've got way too many of these big wheels. So what I do is I do this, drop them in there a few at a time. And then the scrappers pick them up for the Geocorp. When they start scrapping them, there you go. And they send up the space. And they're worth a fortune, which is why I now have nearly 2.2 million. Um, just got more money than I can spend. I wish that was real. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I've put, uh, also put a, an AI module here, this one here, uh, AI module, guard AI module. If you put that onto the unit and then you put guns on it, if anything gets close to the, to your base that you can't attack with your turrets, which are these little boys on the left and right at the top there, um, then this thing will try and aim and shoot at them as well. So you can get a little bit of protection around your base without having turrets. Um, and I've kept it small as well to help on a bit of lag. Um, and yeah, so basically that's what I do. So every now and then when I want to get back to base, open up my inventory and get rid of all the all the things. You know, like you only need a few of these. You don't need 108 of those wheels, for instance, or 111 of these. So every now and then I just throw them in here. As you can see, that's nearly done. And uh, it gives me loads of loads of credit. Now I put the roof on the like this to basically stop them sort of flying all over the place when they get picked up because sometimes it tends to do that. If I put too many and they get thrown out anyway, but uh, by putting a roof on it like this, it stops them flying out and it means that the the scrappers can actually uh, locate the stuff within the area of their capture area, you know. So that that's that. So yeah, so there you go. So this unit here, like I said, um, is literally just a mobile base. Uh, I could change it so that it has uh, construction fabricators and stuff on there as well. But at the moment, I'm just using it to move around the map, scrap ores, and uh, send them away and, and get credits out of it. So, so there you go. Um, I've also made a aircraft. My first attempt wasn't very good. But I have actually made another one. So let's have a look if I can get it launched. Uh, let's have a look. Is it that one? There we go. And this is actually quite fun. Because by doing holding down the shift key, it can go up but, and also forward. Now, but if I am on the ground, for instance, and I just press forward, I can use it like a vehicle, which is quite cool. So 
but there you go. But anyway, it flies actually not that bad, you know. Uh, still hard to maneuver sometimes. And I like the little red dot that's on the front there. And if I find something that I want to shoot at, let's have a look, let's find something. There's something in front of us about to spawn. And then if I fire, the cruise missiles are actually guided. So if they can see the, 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 the unit to shoot at, they'll head towards it, which is quite cool. So you can do a couple of flybys and take these guys out while you're in the air, which is quite fun. Now I've got to add a few more rudders and stuff on this to help me maneuver left and right a bit more and maybe add a bit more weight to the back to even it out but it actually not bad it flies anyway and i don't need to rely on fuel to keep it in the air either whereas with some of the ones with the jet units I tend to give that problem but it still needs a bit of work make it a bit more maneuverable may even add some more cruise missiles on it It'd actually be quite cool to attack stuff from the air. You can see the turning circle is pretty bad. But it stays in the air, which is a lot more than my last one used to do. But anyway, that was just a quick video anyway to, to show you what you can do. There's a lot more you can do with uh, the, the bases and the complicated loops you can do and the filters for all your materials. But... um. It gives you a start anyway, and it's actually quite fun. So anyway, back to my truck. One of the one of the missions you can do is to defeat all the base guards and take over a base. So the whole idea is for me to destroy these guards around the middle here without taking out that base in the middle. Uh, there, that one, uh, which is the one that looks like a little tree in, the, in between those two trucks. So if I go from the furthest side... My my la my missiles should target this guy. So if I just weaken him, um, he'll head over this way, and I'll finish off the rest of them while I'm waiting. Let's have a look. We'll go up here. Oh, but that hurt. Oh, here he comes. Jeez. There's one more on the other side. So if I go the long way around, he's being attacked anyway, so he's been distracted. Oh, just help them finish that one off. If I stay out of range. Haha. <laughs> Uh, the base is mine. And we get some materials for winning the mission. Finishing the mission. Oh. And now there's a, there is a cleanup, which will get rid of most of this rubbish. But if you want to keep it, then... Obviously, put magnets and stuff on your vehicle and pick them all up. 
or um, get one of these wee boys, place it down. And when it powers up, there we go. Um, basically, once I've picked up all the stuff around the area, there's another a base for me to either leave here, dismantle, use the parts if I want to, or just use it to annoy the techs a little bit more. If that tech there in front of us, top of the map there, gets any closer. Oops, I'm stuck. Oops, there we go. If he gets any closer, then he's going to be in trouble. There's a storage crate here, but let's get rid of this guy first. Ooh, ores. I don't really want these materials, so I might just leave most of them there. I'll go and do this mission here. Which is an Invader Hunter 3. I've got to destroy five Invader groups. It's the last one. So um try and head over there if I can. And I set this thing up so that it has a generator on it which uses burnable materials. So what they do is they get sucked in here, although this one here doesn't work very well. I'll put it here for instance. Moves them around to the conveyor, takes them down to the um, generator. It keeps the shields powered up for this thing, which gives me a little bit more time in the field. Oops. Oh dear, let's pull back, get ready for them. Oh, it didn't do him any good. Oh dear. No shields. Oh dear. A lot of damage. Oh my god, lost a lot of stuff. Just not producing enough power. So, what we'll do is go to my tech, load my mobile power bank. Where is it? Supercharge. Place it there. Because it's daylight, this will do the job. A bit closer. There we go. While that's working, I need to repair this. Jesus. That was a bit of a mission stuff and showing you about the base and attacking stuff and uh, flying, f flying tech. Um, so, yeah, it's a load of fun. If you like this kind of game, then this is definitely one to purchase. Thanks for watching.